show, don't tell. Preparing for the first COVID lockdown I was asked to write a procedure on how to connect headphones to the work laptop so the hotline workers could work at home. I wrote one up covering how to connect via Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. The boss looks over it and says everything is fine but we also need something in there about how to plug in a wired headset in case anyone uses one. I knew no one did but figured it was just easier to comply than point this out. So I added this picture https colon slash slash com slash a slash xl 7 y All my colleagues had a good laugh and the boss approved it. Wins all around. It will shock you how many users will need this and find it helpful. You guys joke, but earbuds don't match the picture of a headset and a microphone, so there are some users that will skip this looking for an earbud port. Instructions unclear, am now hearing purple. Not surprised, tbh. I once had to write a manual on entering data into a database I had created BCS I was leaving the project. Had to start with. Step 1. Turn on the computer. The switch is located. Seriously, my supervisor was honestly that clueless. I have seen a phone where someone managed to punch the audio plug through the rubber protection flap on the audio jack. Wait, so I have to sit there holding the cord between my fingers for this to work? What happens if I let go of it? Do I have to unplug it every time I need to leave my workstation, or can I just leave it in the hole, then just put my fingers on it when I get back? How is this malicious? I work with some very smart people that can't tie their shoes. This graphic will be used more than you will ever know. Still not enough, as plugging in the headset gives a prompt on the laptop asking to identify what type of device you insert, whether it's headphones, speakers, microphone or headset. Both my manager and a coworker could not properly configure their headset. This isn't malicious. You were asked to include instructions on how to plug in wired headphones, you provided a visual guide. Never underestimate the power of visual aids. I don't even type my step-by-step -step documentation anymore. Open CMD prompt PSR, problem, start record, proceed to do whatever it is I'm writing a guide on how to do. The program follows every click, every keystroke even takes screenshots when you click on the screen. When you're done, it outputs a file you can open and it shows everything you did, in order, with any comments you want to add. Compliance wasn't really malicious because it sounds like it's exactly what your boss wanted, and honestly it's quite possibly exactly what was needed, but I can see the mindset in that you're almost talking down to the users by giving them documentation like this. Seems like a reasonable thing to do. That picture shows on which part of the laptop the plug is located. But what about USB headsets? That doesn't help me. My headset has a USB port. So, I guess I need desk side support. I would help if your organization painted all headphone jacks and plugs the same color. It is technically possible to jam a 3, 5 mm into a USB port if you hammer it in. What if my headphones have an L connector? As an IT manager, I get it, LMFAO, wild. I love the photograph, I have been struggling with my headset for years. Oh no! What if it's USB plug? Giggle. But what if the other end is USB not a 3.5 millimeters? If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.